In this lesson, we are going to create and set up Spring Boot project in Eclipse. One option is using Spring Tool Suite. This is a dedicated ID for Spring and Spring Boot based on Eclipse. We can use this or we can use the Spring Tools plugin in Eclipse. Both of these options we will explore in the current lesson. And once we have Spring Tools Suite or the Spring Tools plugin installed in Eclipse, we have some Spring Guides based project which we can easily create within these IDs to understand different features of Spring and Spring Boot. Using those, we would create a sample Spring Boot project in these IDs. And finally, we would create a very basic sample Spring Boot project from scratch in both of these IDs. Let's get started. In my system, I only have JDK 17 installed. No Eclipse or Spring Tool Suite is there. So to start, let's just search Spring Tool Suite. Click on this first link, spring.io tools. At the top, we have Spring Tools 4 for VS Code and then for Eclipse. I'm clicking on this Windows option, Windows X8664. The download is going on. In the meantime, I'm going to download Eclipse as well. Eclipse ID download. Click on the first link, eclipse.org slash downloads. Scrolling down. Click on download packages. Click on this release. Here we have all the versions available which are released recently. Clicking on this 2024-03. Scroll down. This is for Java developers. This is for Java and web developers. This is the one I want. Clicking on this x86-64. So here also the download has started. For Spring Tool Suite version 4.4.26, the download is completed. Let me go to the folder. I want to cut it and put it in a specific location. Control X. This is a folder. Right click. Paste. Done. Let me extract this. Right click. As it is Windows 11, show more options, 7-zip, extract here. Now, after extraction, this Spring Tool Suite, we got this STS, then the version dot release. Going inside this, we have similar structure to Eclipse. Right click on this, show more options, send to desktop. So the desktop icon would be created. Going back to my download folder. Now this zip for Eclipse is also downloaded. Going back, all softwares, paste this, right click, show more options, 7-zip, extract here. Now for this Spring Tool Suite and Eclipse, I would create two separate workspaces so that there is no conflict going to my C drive. Ideally, we should not use C drive for this. In case you have any other drives, you should use that. In my case, I only have this one. That's why I'm using it. Let me create a folder, new Eclipse underscore workspace. And similarly, I would create another one, STS workspace. Going back to my folder where everything is set up. So this extraction is complete. Eclipse extraction is also complete. Let me go inside this. Similarly, I want this icon in desktop. Show more options. Send to desktop. Minimizing. So I have the Eclipse icon and here I have the Spring Tool Suite or STS icon. Clicking on this, clicking on Eclipse also. So Eclipse is asking for the workspace. Let me provide it. Launch Spring Tool Suite. It's still loading. Using the welcome screen for Eclipse, maximizing this. Let me minimize and wait for this STS to launch. In the meantime, in Eclipse, it is asking whether I want to exclude Eclipse ID from being scanned to improve performance. Definitely. Click on proceed. Now, internally, it would execute few PowerShell commands. Now, Spring 2 Suite is ready. It is showing me the default workspace. I need to change this. I have this workspace folder already created. Click on launch. You can see similar UI available in STS also. Let me maximize this. Same thing. It is asking me to exclude it from being scanned to improve performance. Selecting this. Click on proceed. Now in Spring Tool Suite or STS, if I want to create a project, you can see I have directly the option to create a new Spring Starter project or import Spring Getting Started content. Even if I go here, File, New, if I go to Other, if I type Spring or if I expand this Spring Boot, these two options are there. But in Eclipse, I don't have that. If I want that support within Eclipse, I have to go to Help, Eclipse Marketplace here. We can type Spring 
tool click on go so spring tools 4 this is the one if you see right now the install is around 3 million at this point of time click on install so we are installing the plugin now keeping the options as is not changing anything clicking on confirm click on i accept the terms finish now it's installing the plugin we can see the progress click select all trust selected once this installation is completed i will resume the recording select all trust selected restart now now eclipse id has all the capabilities of the sds if i go to sds or spring tool suite you can see i have the boot dashboard over here in eclipse i can bring the same if i go to window show view other i can type boot open i have it over here now both of the ids are ready so first thing we are going to create a sample spring boot application from the spring guides in eclipse if i go to file new and here if i select other and type spring you can see there are two options spring starter project which we will explore later on while creating a completely new spring boot application from scratch and this option is basically using the sample project which we actually get from the spring boot website which is spring.io same thing we can do from sts also we directly have these two options over here similarly in case we don't get this same way we can go to file new we can select it from here and also we can get it from other so one thing i will do here this getting started content i'll do it in eclipse and the starter project i'll create in sts click on next now here for this getting started content there are big number of projects which are given over here i can select spring boot i have the description build type i'm keeping maven code sets you can see initial and complete i only want the complete set and here you can see the home page of the project as i was telling these are all sample applications from spring.io under guides getting started gs and then this is the project name let me click on finish in the meantime it has basically opened the browser page also for this particular project i'm going back to eclipse again this is the project if i expand i generally prefer the navigator view as the navigator view is gone i would customize this project explorer view so that it works similar to navigator click on this filter under preset filter exclude this start dot resources under content scroll down there is something called java elements just exclude this click on ok now it would look similar to navigator same thing i'll do in sts also this is package explorer i would open project explorer show view select project explorer close this package explorer filter exclude star dot resources content exclude java elements click ok going back to the example project let me open the structure over here what is given it's a simple project i can see i have one controller hello controller in default mapping it is returning greeting from spring boot and here i have the application class if i open the pom.xml we have the spring boot starter web actuator starter test that's it so first thing i'm going to build this project right click properties java build path libraries i see the jre system library is there i prefer to use my own jdk go to window preferences java install jres here i would use my own jdk which is present in my system click on apply apply and close again open the project properties libraries select this edit workspace default jre finish apply apply and close first let me build this project right click run as maven build in the goals i am mentioning clean space i can use install or package apply run asking me to allow public and private networks to access this app click on allow build is successful now here in the run configuration if you right click you can run as java application 
you can run a Spring Boot app as well. For the time being, let me just open this class, right click, run as Java application we can try. We can try this one also. Let me try this. Click allow. Now the application is up and running. If I go to Spring Dashboard and expand this, I can right click and directly open in the web browser. Let me do that. So here we are getting the greetings from Spring Boot. So using Eclipse, we ran a getting started sample Spring Boot application. Now we are going to create another sample Spring Boot application from the scratch. Stopping this application so that there is no port conflict later on. Going back to the Spring STS, we can use this create new Spring Starter project or from here file new. We can use this one or from other also. We can get the same project clicking on Spring Starter project. Now, this is the wizard on the screen which Spring STS or Eclipse, when we have this Spring Tool plugin installed, it provides us the starter UI over here. So, I have to use Maven here under type packaging language I'm keeping as is. One thing you have to notice by default, it allows the latest three JDK versions. So, right now, at this point of time, it is allowing from 23 to 17. I have JDK 17 in my system. So no problem, group, artifact and rest of all, I'm keeping it as is, click on next. Here I can add the starter project dependencies from this section. If I type web, accordingly the entries would be filtered out. I can select spring web. I can adjust the spring version also. Let me downgrade it little bit, 3.3.6, next, finish. So here we have this demo application created. What I can do, I can just create a sample controller over here. Right click, new, other, class, name demo controller, package is already given, click on finish. So the first thing, this demo controller needs to be a rest controller, at the rate rest, control space, selecting the first one. And here, what I would do, I would add a method which would have the default mapping of slash. I need to resolve this get mapping, control shift O. Now I have the mapping in the import as well. Same thing, I need to check, right click properties, whether my JDK and etc. is set properly or not. Java build path. This one I don't like. Generally, I prefer my own JDK. Let me correct it. Window preferences, Java, install JREs. Selecting this one, apply and close, right click, properties, libraries, edit, workspace default JDK, finish, apply and close, right click, run as, maven build, clean, package, apply, run. Build is successful. Now let me run this demo application.java. Right click, run as Java application or Spring Boot app. Click on allow. It has started the application. I can directly access the browser. Let me close all this. Localhost colon 8080. I'm getting the response from Spring Boot. Alternatively, we can expand this local and here after selecting this, we can directly open in web browser as well. Let me do that. So what we have done so far, we have installed Eclipse Spring Tool Suite ID, which is another variation of Eclipse. We installed Eclipse as well, and then installed this STS plugin over there. We ran a sample application that getting started project, and we created a sample Spring Boot project from the scratch using the Spring Boot project creation starter feature also and we successfully ran both of the projects. So this way, we just got started with Spring Boot using the Eclipse IDE.